Hi, welcome to the Crystal Healing Practitioner course. I've had a few questions as to how this all works, so I thought I would be best to jump on and do a quick video to show you exactly how it all comes together and how it all works. So this is the online course area. When I first created the Crystal Healing course um, many years ago, I used to run it solely as an in-person course. However, due to the expansion of the business and due to the expansion of people wanting to learn about crystal healing, I have put the entire course online. It is a fully accredited course with the International Practitioners of Holistic Medicine, and you do get a practitioner certificate at the end once you submit some case studies for me. So how does it all work? Why are there in-person workshops still available? Can I come in person? These are all lots of different questions that I get asked. So let's take a look around. This is the online course area. So whenever you sign up to this course, whether you sign up to come to the in-person classes, which run once a year, or whether you decide to do it solely online, you will all get access to this area. Okay, so this is the Crystal Healing Practitioner course in the online member vault area. So there are 25 modules, as you can see. There's a resources area. So that's where you'll find your course manual, and other recommended reading and other resources to help you get started. The first few modules then are your crystal basics. So introduction to crystals, crystal healing concepts, how to care for your crystals, how to awaken your crystals, how to program them, how to grind and meditate with crystals. And then we move into more subtle energy like auras and chakras and some specific healing techniques. Those first sort of eight modules would be what would be covered in the in-person crystal workshop one, okay? And these workshops run once a year. They usually run in the first half of the year between January and June. Now, people come into this course at lots of different times. So people might join this course um, in April. They can certainly come along to any of the workshops that are available, however, in most cases, what they do is they complete the online cases, the online work on this program. And then if they wish, they can come along free of charge the following year to any of the workshops. So the first workshop usually covers those uh, first eight or nine modules. Then module nine onwards, crystal grids, remote healing work, crystal elixirs and potions, meditations, how to color program your crystals. Um, how to keep a good energetic safety, any healing crises, common crystals and bodily systems. And then it starts to get a little bit more advanced. So these next ones, the sort of modules nine through to 15 are probably what we would cover in the second workshop in person because we take it a little bit more advanced. And then the third workshop would cover the deeper work, the more professional side of things about how to actually do a full you know, creating your healing space, building your toolkit, performing a full crystal healing session. And then we take it a little bit further just to touch base with how to communicate with the higher realms and, you know, bring a little bit of a spiritual intuitive development to the program. So the online program is fully comprehensive. It is fully accredited and you do not have to come to the in-person workshops if you don't want to. They are simply there as bonus workshops where I deliver this exact same content, but in three workshops over the course of six months. So they usually happen sort of January, February, March, April, May, June, depending on, on the diary each year, but they only run in person once a year. However, this Crystal Healing Practitioner course is available 24 seven, 365 days a year online for you to do at your own pace. Some concerns people have um, they ask, well, you know, is it accredited? Yes, it's accredited by the International Practitioners of Holistic Medicine who are globally recognized. So you can certainly do the course and be assured of accreditation with them. I will also answer as you go through each module. So for example, if we go into the introduction to crystals, you'll see that there are various different um, lessons in each one. If I jump ahead into module one assignment, um, there are various different um, pieces of information here and then some questions for you to answer. When you click submit answers, those responses come directly to me. OK, so they come to me and I review those answers that you have given and I will give you personal feedback. So whilst it is 
an online course and that you're doing it very much in your own time and at your own pace, you do get personalized feedback from me. So in a nutshell, when you sign up to this course, you get immediate access to the online area, okay? You get personalized feedback from me for every single assignment that you submit. If you submit all the assignments and the case study, then I will issue you with your practitioner certificate. And you can, if you wish, as a bonus, jump into any of the in-person crystal workshops that happen once a year. So hopefully that answers your questions. If it doesn't and you still have some more, then why don't you arrange a discovery call with me? You can book that using the online system um, or alternatively ping me an email at debbiebarr at roxandrituals.co.uk and I will answer your questions as best I can. So hopefully that's helped. Let me know and I look forward to welcoming you on to this course really, really soon.